Hey, Matthew and Amy back with the Huddle Haas, and somebody suggested that we would do our favorite books. And this is really hard for both of us because we both enjoy reading. However, we don't get to read as much as we once did. She reads a ton to the kids, and so we have a lot of favorite children's books. Um, she reads more to the kids than I do. I'll read like Llama Llama or something. Skippy John Jones. Skippy John Jones to the kids because they're short. But she's the one that spends most of the time um, reading uh, to the children. Anyway, so we grabbed a few that we have on our bookshelf that are pretty good. Now, we don't have all of our favorite books because that would be an endless list, I think, for both of us. But some of the ones that we, we like. And I just wanted to start out sharing, of course, the Bible's our favorite book. It should be, right? Um, and we both, um, uh, there's a couple different versions that we both read. Um, we read the Pennsylvania Dutch one sometimes at Breakfast for Devotions. We'll read through that. But one thing that we did, we got this um, 90 day Bible when we were dating. Mm -hmm. And it was Amy's idea. <laughs> and uh, we read through um, the 90 day Bible together when we were dating. And we would talk about it sometimes. Like we would read, uh, there's like, I forget how many pages a day that you read. It's it's pretty intense reading. It's pretty, in yeah, it's pretty intense reading. It's several. It takes a level of commitment yeah. to get through it. But we did it together, and I'm glad that we did that. Something else that we read before we were married is um, this book called When God Writes Your Love Story. And this is by Ed, Eric and Leslie Luddy. And uh, Ludy, mm -hmm. Ludy, Ludy, Luddy, Ludy. Um, we both read this. I don't think we, did we mean to read this together? Or had we both I don't read know. it? I don't just... um, know. But I really think that this is a good idea, especially if you're looking for a relationship. Um, yeah, this is a really good one to read together. Now let's do one of your favorite books. Well, one of, I don't, like Matthew said, I don't read much right now. There's just too many distractions, and most times if I'm reading, it's to the kids. However, one of my favorite books, and this is backwards, you can't see it. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but is, is James Harriet. Um, in fact... We love it so much. Anytime we find a copy at the thrift store, we pick it up yeah. just for when this one wears out. Nice thing is, not only do I love reading it, but you can read a chapter and then let it sit for a few days, pick up another chapter. And um, it's basically a vet who tells his his everyday life stories. Yeah, That's from England, there's, Scotland, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, there's five. Yeah, and they are so good. And, and sometimes I will read these and just howl and laugh. And the funny thing was... I never knew these books until we got married, and then you, she kept telling me, oh, you're going to like these, you're going to like these, and... Um, he didn't. I didn't, initially. Until I got into the style, I read maybe three or four chapters, and then, literally, sometimes, like, I read these and howl and laughter, and I think <laughs> about stories uh, from this guy, and how and laugh at those, so that's a really good one. Well, another one that you really like um, that we don't have, it's something called Baby Catcher, because some of our books we've lent out. As we were looking for this list, we've went out. One is called... It's called The Baby Catcher. I think it's Peggy Vincent. It's a book about uh, a midwife who tells her stories. and Yeah, and Amy was an OB nurse, so she enjoys... And I'll read that over and over as well. And what was uh, what was the other one that, that you liked that you gave to Dawson? Is oh, that... The Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe series by C.S. Mm -hmm. Lewis. I enjoy those as well. Yeah, you really like that. But those are ones I'll read again as well. And then, I mean, there's fiction that I love, but like like right the now, Francine Rivers. I I just don't I don't read for yeah. pleasure right now as a whole, unless I'll pick up James <clears throat> Harriet or something like that. And sometimes, you know, I'm in my PhD, so I'm doing a lot of reading, a lot of researching, so I don't get a lot of um, reading done. I do have a stack by my chair of books that I have um, that I read here and there. Um, and sometimes Amy will groan when I start a book because I get pretty obsessive over books and I will start He'll and, space out. and space out and just like, that's all Nothing I want to do. Nothing matters. Mm -hmm. That's all I want to do is read. But anyway, yeah. Okay. So a couple of my favorite books, uh, this one, which again, there's, I don't know. I enjoy this book. It's called one year late, one year after, um, by William for Um, and it, there's three books in the series, and it's about an, an EMP that hit um, and caused, you know, the grid to go down and all that stuff. Not that I subscribe to a lot of that, like, 
Uh, but this is, if you like those type of dystopian novels, this is a, a really, really good one. I like this one. Another book that had a lot of influence on me um, is one called um, The Heavenly Man. And The Heavenly Man is um, by, uh, uh, it's about Brother Yun, uh, a Christian uh, in China. And so this was really good, really influential. If um, you're looking for a good book, this is a good one. Another one that I really like and I think is so good and, and is this Hiking Through by uh, Paul Stutzman. And it's a really good book about this guy that after his wife died, he uh, walked the Appalachian Trail. And he has another one called Biking Through that I've read as well. And I just think that this is a really good, um, a really good clean, easy read. <clears throat> when I was a little boy, um, we're going to get to some of our other favorite books, but uh, one of the ones that I, I love so much is, it's all scribbled up because, you know, children, but this is My Side of the Mountain. And when I was in sixth grade, we were made to read this book, and I just loved it. Um, this is good for, you know, that sixth grade and uh, reader, and I still read this. We'll pick it up and read it every once in a while again. It's really, really good. Sixth grade mandatory for us was Swiss Family Robinson. Oh, that's another good one. That's one. We don't have it on our shelf. Yeah. It's in a box somewhere at my mom's in the attic. Um, yeah, but that was another favorite. Another one that I liked is a uh, young reader and we still read this. We love to go to Chincoteague. That's one of our favorite vacation spots because it's just, it's just a nice family friendly beach community. Um, but we love the Misty, uh, of Chincoteague and all of those books. And, uh, the last couple years that we've gone, Amy, you've either read it or we've listened to it on audiobook as we go to Chincoteague. But this is also a really good one for young readers. And this, this favorite book list is going to change as our, our children get older. Um, but th right now, this is we're just telling you what some of our favorite books are, what our children's favorite books are. So Landon is in first grade, and he is a really good reader. Um, I don't, he kind of taught himself. I, I don't know, but he loves to read. And one of his favorite books is uh, the Thornton Burgess series. And Amy and I both read yeah. those and loved them as children. So I love that he loved them. Yeah, we love that he loves them. And and so these are like Sammy J and Chester the Squirrel and Buster Bear. Buster Bear, Granny Fox. There's a bunch of different ones. They're short books. They're wholesome. They're really good. Landon loves those. Another one that Landon loves, and you can see that this is one of those, what is it called? Usborne books. We do like the Usborne um, brand books. And this is like a search. And so what you do is it has different scenes and then different animals and you find however many are in there. And it gives blurbs of information. And it, Yeah, it gives blurbs of information about this. So this is, um, I think there's a couple different ones like this, but Landon loves this. He has loved it. Uh, it takes Worn and torn. Worn and torn. Like almost how many nights in a row was this? Oh. We let them choose a book before they go to bed. Um, after devotions, and so Landon cho chose this one for months okay. and months and months. Another one that they love is anything by Richard Scarry. Yeah, so this is another one that the boys will request, and and they'll they'll just sit for a long time, and just even young like Jace is too, and he'll sit for a long time and just look at the pictures. Yeah, in this. Um, one of Amy's favorite, this book is very special to her, but the boys love it too. It's called The Biggest Bear by... Lind Ward. Lind Ward. And, uh, there's one of my favorite lines is from that book. It's about a family called the, the Orchards. Mm -hmm. And their last name's Orchard and they have an apple orchard anyway. And one of my favorite lines is like, better to have a bear in the orchard than an orchard in the bear. And so that's a, a good book. Another one that they, the kids love is the My Bible Friends books. Mm -hmm. uh, we have this on CD, and they will sit for hours and listen to this. Sometimes, like, when they're a little bit rambunctious, we'll just say, okay, you need to go to your room, or you need to sit down and listen to uh, stories. And they Really love nice illustrations, too. Yeah. There's five books in this set. And that's an old set, I think. Did you have that yeah. when you were little? We did, yes. Like, I think we had that, too. It was one that we had a lot. The boys love Curious George. It's a classic. So we, <laughs> we, we need to mention Curious George. Uh, Jace's favorite right now is... Uh, Are You My Mother? Are You My Mother? Uh, is that a Dr. Seuss book? No, it's P.D. Eastman. Yeah. So, but, it's, but yeah, he loves that, that one. And it's nice because it's short. Another one is Henrietta. 
uh, by what's the name of that that author? Sid Hoff. Sid Hoff. He's the one that did like Danny and the Dinosaur and the Moose one. Uh, Morris the Moose. Uh huh. Julius. So, Julius the. He was an ape, I think. But yeah, that's another good one yeah. that the kids like. Of course, we couldn't mention favorite books without mentioning Little House on the Prairie. Yeah. And we have these. These are like the children verse, version books. And we do for Christmas, we do the, the something you want, something you need, something to wear, and something to read. And we these are one of the ones that we get for them for something to read, uh, the Little House books. And, of course, the other ones, uh, we actually said, what, last night, since the nights are longer because it's getting dark earlier, we want to kind of start reading, like, through some of the ones, like, Little House on the Prairie uh, and things like that. These also have really nice illustrations. Yeah. Now, one of my favorite ones that I don't mind reading <laughs> and the kids love them are, are these books. Uh, Down by the Sea with Mr. McGee, The Circus Ship, and... Uh, camping Spree. A Camping Spree. And these this is uh, written by, what is it, uh, Chris, Chris Van Dusen. Mm -hmm. Any book by him I just think is fantastic. The illustrations are great, mm -hmm. but not only the illustrations, I love to read a book that it just kind of flows and it rhymes, especially when I'm reading out loud. And these Chris Van Dusen books do that. Great illustrations, really good. Um, yeah, so this is another one of our boys' favorite and my favorite, too. I, when they bring this, I, I will read this. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we wouldn't mention favorite children's books without mentioning Muddy Paws. And we have five or six Five movies, or six I Muddy think. Paws. And, I mean, we have a ton of books. And, actually, Amy's kind of a book nerd, a book junkie. <laughs> she has, in her mom's attic, like, boxes and boxes of books. And we need to get more bookshelves in our house to be able to, to have them. But anyway, so yeah, we, we need to mention Muddy Paws. This is a good one for small kids as well. Another book series that we started uh, that as part of a Christmas gift uh, is these books by uh, Helga Moser. Uh, and these are really good illustrated books. There, there's really good moral mm -hmm. lessons behind them. It's longer storylines. They so, are longer storylines. You know, it'll take you 30 minutes to read it. Maybe but, not thirty, but maybe not thirty, but yeah. So this is like Chester the Rooster, Danny the Workhorse, Shadow the Barn Cat, uh, Snoopy the Sheep, and there's a new one called Dolly Dolly the Milk Cow. I think mm -hmm. these are really good, and um, I don't know where you could find these, uh, uh, like um, choice book racks maybe, or Christian book uh, distributor distributor something like that. Amy's uh, sister, uh, her husband works for a company called Choice Books, and he has. Uh, book racks, like in grocery stores there's and some, airports. Like, I know there's a, and I think they have a website, Faith View Bookstore. Oh, yeah. Faith, in Ohio mm -hmm. that carries them. And yeah. And they're a pricier book, but they're an investment. Yeah, how much were these? And, well, they're 16 now. They were 12 45 when we bought them, but I think they're 16 And again, this is a Christmas present. Like, this yeah. isn't one that we just pick up. And we always kind of look for books. Amy's sister, um really loves children's books mm -hmm. and she can go through and go through uh, books. We also uh, are very fortunate to have a library really cr close and we put an order on your phone mm -hmm. and uh, pick up a stack of books and we will go through books. Like when I say we go through books, mm -hmm. like we go through books for the children. Um, hopefully someday soon, Amy and I both will be able to um, go through books right now. And like for right now I'm reading uh I think there's four books on that stack over there, and I have a bad habit of that. Um, I also like to read westerns. My dad reads westerns, and so I have one of those, like, in each vehicle. So if I'm somewhere <laughs> somewhere that uh, I need something to do instead of, like, scrolling on my phone, like, I'll read one of those books. But they're not always... But even if, like, I really encourage moms to read to your kids. Because when I started reading mm -hmm. to Landon, he would not sit but for 30 seconds. Uh -huh. We wouldn't even get through a book. Yeah. And he was, I don't remember, was he one, one and a half? But I wanted him, I grew up, my mom read to us all the time. I loved books, and I wanted my children to love books. And so take a little time, invest in it, and yeah. Landon absolutely loves to read. He loves to read so much, he taught himself to read. Yeah. And I think it's because, I don't know, had I not sat and read mm -hmm. and tried to instill that in him, I don't know if he'd like to read now or not. 
And he but had I'm a, grateful that he does. And he had a really good um, homeschool. We have a Christian school that our children goes to, go to uh, that's kind of sponsored by our church. And uh, we homeschool kindergarten. Mm -hmm. And the curriculum, what was... Um, it's Christian light education. Christian light education. Uh, so we homeschool kindergarten, then they go to first grade. And that has a really good... I, I think it's a really good curriculum um, to learn to recognize letters and things like that. Kind of starting to put letters and numbers and things together. So yeah, I agree. I think it's very imperative to um, read to your children. Even though, like for me, I, I, I don't know why I'm not, I don't read more than I do to them. And I do, like I shouldn't say I never read to them, uh, but not as much as she does. Like she, she will, oh, there's a word, uh, a Dutch word called fabloke. She'll fabloke <laughs> herself, kind of like put herself out. Uh, for the children to read to them. and, and But it's a way, it can reestablish peace in your home. Like if everybody's fighting and at each other's throats, you just pull a book, they come sit on your lap, and, and it just has a way of kind of reorienting everyone, yeah. I think. So And it's not screen time, so hey, that's a plus. Yeah, <laughs> and we try to avoid that as, as much as we can because we find that our children, the more that they watch a movie, which we don't watch a lot of movies, they're actually watching Berenstain Bears, yeah. which is another <laughs> which is another really good book that they love, The Berenstain Bears. Oh, they Bears. love The Berenstain Bears, and I I don't like to read them. <laughs> but anyway, but so, I do. <laughs> so we're, they, they are, like it's uh, an afternoon and kind of getting them ready to wind down. So we let them watch a Berenstain Bear uh, video. That's why they're not interrupting us. Because they will. They'll sit in front of that screen forever. If we let them. If we let them. Yeah. So yeah, this is um, this is uh, some books that we like. Uh, somebody gave a suggestion for this on a comment, and I appreciate that. Um, what are some of your favorite books? What are some books that we should read? Um, again, I don't think we even scrape the surface. Oh, no. On our favorite books or books that we like to read. Um, yeah, but this is just some of them. So what are some of your favorite books? Comment below. What are some books that we should put on our reading list? Um, yeah, we both enjoy reading. My mom and dad love to read. Your mom loves to read. Your dad reads too. Um, he's a farmer. So he's he a far he's a dairy much. farmer. He doesn't have much time to read. Yeah. Um, so we really want our children to enjoy reading because um, it's kind of like when you read a book and then there's a movie made. Like... You, you have these characters pictured in your mind and these scenarios pictured in your mind. And then when you watch the movie, you're kind of disappointed. I really think like it, it really triggers something in your mind to, uh, to be creative and to learn uh, when you're reading more. And you can go wherever you want to go. But yeah, so this is some of our favorite books. I appreciate you guys watching today. Uh, thank you and, and God bless.